Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And today I want to get a quick guide on where to find all of the legendary creatures. There is a trophy in game called Master Hunter for basically hunting down the legendary creatures. Outside of that, you can of course then take these once you've completed them and hand them in at your settlement to the Hunter Hut and you get some, you know, small items. Nothing as noteworthy as like a crazy armor set or anything. But regardless, for those of you perhaps going for that 100% and you want these, then uh, these are all the locations. I will later on in this video drop a little spoiler warning when we get to the last two because you guys might not want to know about them given the locations and whatnot but for the time being the first half or the first like three quarters is pretty safe. So to begin with we're beginning in the order that they appear in the hunting list. First one is over here in Norway what you want to do is go down to the southern part of the map and this is in a kind of power level one area so you can do this pretty early on in the game. What you then want to do is go to where you see me right now and down by the icy waterfall is the elk of the bloody peaks. This is legendary creature number one. Moving on from there to number two, now we're over in England. You want to go over to East Anglia. This is in a power level 95 area. So again, something you can do pretty early on in the game. Keep in mind, these are located by blue mystery dots on the map. And as you get closer, that icon will change to a paw print. For this one, you want to go to where you see me on the map right now. And there is this sort of run down ruins. And inside, when you walk in the middle, you will find the black shuck. Kill that one for creature number two. Moving on from there, we are then going over to Oxenfordshire, and you want to go to kind of in the middle of the map, this sort of area you see me right now, not too far off of the pathway. And then once you get closer, you will find a load of sort of broken down huts and sort of walls and whatnot. And here you will find three different wolves that you will need to fight. And upon defeating them, that is the Corpse Feeder's legendary creature. Foul. Next up on the list, we are going over to the west part of the map. We're going to Shropshire, and this is a uh, 130 power level area. You want to go to kind of the middle of the area of the map. You can see here in the middle of this sort of uh, foresty area. And then once you get closer, you will find there is, uh, again, you know, rundown buildings, some pillars on the outside, a big archway. You want to run inside and basically follow the pathway and work your way down. And then once you get to the bottom, you will find the Beast of the Hills, this uh, big old bear. The whole meat barrel. Next up on the list, we are going over to Lincolnshire, and this one is a power level 160 area. This is on the map in that sort of ruins area. You'll see that there is a body of water not too far from this, but you want to basically go into the middle of this arena, drop down, and inside you will find the Gemad Wolf. Cunning. Glad your threat has ended. Moving over from there, we are then going over to Sussex, which is a power level 160 area. Again, this is down uh, the southern part of the map. Again, this is sort of in the middle of like a big arena. There's like some walls you can drop down. And if you drop in the middle, there is Alfred's Battle So Now, interestingly here, I don't know entirely whether this was a bug and it just didn't fight back for us or whether it's supposed to be this way where the cow in the middle just sits there and then all of his mates basically come and fight you. Not entirely sure. Let me know if you guys have done this, whether the cow fought back and it was just a bug. But either way, kill the giant cow and uh, that is the next creature. Moving on from there, uh, apologies for my pronunciation, but I believe this is Eurovishire or something like that. Suggested power level 190. For this one, you want to go over to, uh, you know, you're quite near the water, almost in this like island in the middle of the water that kind of surrounds it. And then amidst the grass, you'll find the blood swine, which is this boy you need to fight. Obviously watch out because you know, you might not see it in the grass, but either way, that is your next creature. Well bought. Next up, we're going over to Norway, up to, I believe it's pronounced Hordefilka. I apologize again if I got that one wrong, but you basically want to go up to this area you see on the map. It's a little island, you know, amidst these other big land masses, and you want to drop down here, get your boat, go over there, and you will find the uh, bear of the blue waters. Again, a big snowy bear, so uh, watch out for it. Don't get mauled by it too much, and uh, that's your next one. Make a really big...
Now over in the bottom left hand corner of England again, we're going over to Hamptonshire and this is uh, one of the higher level areas, 340 power level, so something you'll do towards the end of the game and you want to go over to this clearing and you'll find a couple of wildcats you need to fight. These are the wildcats of the wield. <laughs> Now, moving on from there to the next one, I want to drop a quick spoiler warning here. Honestly, I don't deem this a massive spoiler, but depending on where you are in the game, whether or not you want to know whether you can get to this area, then uh, I'm going to say this is kind of a, a light spoiler, so to speak. Basically, the last two are located in areas that are outside of England and outside of Norway. So if you don't want to know what those are, then this will be the point to step away. Assuming, however, you are still here, then we're now going to work our way over to Vinland. And for this one, the creature is the Oyandune. You want to go to where you see on the map right now, not too far from the water here. And you go over here and kill this one. Worth noting, for this creature, you don't have a hand in at your settlement. You'll just kind of get some leather and stuff anyway. But if you are trying to kill all of them for the trophy anyway, then uh, it is worth doing this. And then finally for the last one, this is actually over in one of the mythical realms, we're actually over in Jotunheim, and this is the strongest creature. Again, this one does not have a hand in at the hut, this is kind of like your optional one that you can do at the end once you've done all of them. This is power level 400, it is Steinbjörn, it is a really powerful like icy bear, so uh, a big challenge if you kind of just want something to fight at the end, then this is the one. But with that being said, that is the location of all of the legendary creatures in Valhalla. Hope you guys find that helpful. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, keep it locked for plenty more videos. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys wanna chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.